I go here, it shows the various items. These are coming in directly from Dynamics and AV, so it's showing my current inventory value that I currently have in stock. And the other thing you see here, this is actually a Power BI report that's coming directly from Power BI, just showing me a quick overview of what do I have in stock and if I want to highlight any items that are low. The nice things about these Power BI reports is I could open it in a different window if I want to see it in full screen, but there's also a lot of integrations. I could share this URL with anyone if I want to go ahead and collaborate on social media, LinkedIn, emails, etc. I could do all of that directly from that Power BI report if I wanted to go ahead and share that with someone. So that's enough on inventory. The last thing we have here is reporting. So reporting we did show one example of Power BI reports. By all means, that is the main reporting mechanism when it comes to SharePoint and the data. You can also get very elaborate with either SQL reports or Power BI reports. Oops, let me go ahead and refresh that. I guess it lost its connection there. I think I had it open too long, but this will go ahead and bring open the vendor performance report that you just saw that has various analytics on how that vendor is performing. So if I wanted to have any metrics on their performance, their delivery times, etc. I could go ahead and share that with them so they could help manage their relationship with me. So there we go, supplier quality analysis. I have various examples of graphs and maps as well, analytics that I could share with my vendors. Of course, all this information is live. I could interact with it here and do filters and things like that, just like I can any Power BI report. So if I wanted to just focus on various things, I could click on them here. And as you can see, that graph is basically adjusting itself based on my selection. So all that information is live, pulling directly from the information within Dynamics NAV. So we'll go ahead and close out of the reports. So we covered tasks, we covered the contract example, various abilities to show inventory and reporting. And then next we want to go ahead and do purchase orders and payment status. And both of these I could show you from the web client. By the way, this is also a responsive page, so you could interact with these on a mobile device. But what next we wanted to show is the ability to use Power Apps, and you could basically share this information using true mobile applications as opposed to just responsive mobile views. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back over to Tiffany, and she can take us through the Power App portion of it. Very good. Thank you, Mike. So let me do a little screen share here. You should see my mobile phone pop up, and we're just going to pray that I don't get any random text messages during this five-minute session. But as Mike alluded to, we are utilizing Microsoft Power Apps to deliver the vendor portal in a really simple, convenient way directly to a mobile phone. So it looks and feels a lot like what you just saw Mike highlighting for you on the desktop application. We're now accessing the Western Computer Portal app. You'll see the various different icons that were specific to the desktop as well. But today we're going to dive in and look specifically at purchase orders and payment status. We'll start with purchase orders. As I click in here, these are the open purchase orders specific to my organizations. There's some header information here. It's definitely summarized in a more succinct fashion in comparison to the desktop application just to make it simple for people on the go. In this scenario, let's go ahead and access the purchase order 6005. I'm going to drill into that one specifically. And you'll see some additional information on the screen. It's taken just a moment to respond. There we go. It's popped up now. So we'll see the buy from vendor name, contacts, addresses, locations, as well as the status and the promised receipt date. So in this particular scenario, the vendor really wants to update the receipt date. So we're going to hit the pencil icon in the top right hand corner to go ahead and edit the promised receipt date. It's currently set. We're going to change that to February 2nd. I'm going to give it the screen just a moment to catch up what I'm doing behind the scenes here. So we're now at February 2nd. I'm going to click the OK button to ensure that that updates specifically. I'm going to pause just a moment. Slightly delayed here. Don't want to go too quickly for you all. And as I do that, I'm going to go ahead. You'll see the February 2nd at the bottom. I've selected the checkbox at the top right-hand corner there to ensure that it's been saved. So now you'll see that I've updated the purchase order 6005 to a promised receipt date of February the 2nd. 
In a moment, we'll switch gears again, and I'll allow Mike to go back into the desktop application, but we're also going to share the integration with Dynamics NAV. So keep in mind, we just updated record 6005 with a promised receipt date of February the 2nd. We're going to confirm that that was flowed directly through into Dynamics NAV in just a moment. Before I leave the mobile application, I'm just going to go back to the home screen here just to show you a little bit more functionality that's available in a very mobile-friendly fashion via the Microsoft Power App. I'm going to go into Payment Status, and I can see all the open invoices. Keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I think they need to make some payment against these, right? But I'll drill into a specific invoice here so you can see some more details relational to the invoice. And again, we're just doing a more simplistic view here so somebody from a mobile device or from a tablet can see some really pertinent information quickly to confirm what that status of the invoice is. This is just a great method to ensure that the vendor can really control and without having to make calls into support or send multiple email inquiries, they have all this information readily available to them at their fingertips, whether it is at a desktop or from their mobile device.